I will not die, but live to see Biafra true. Now the can shown Boris aid during negotiation in detention. Oh, um, late yesterday, late yesterday, uh, due to the uh, the negotiation with Mr. President. Yes, because there, there was a negotiation between him and the United Nations on the issue of Namdekanu's continuous stay in detention. So Buari actually sent a delegate to speak to Namdekanu in detention. It came very late yesterday. And uh, the report is just coming to our studio this very evening. And you will not believe Namdekanu's reply to that very age. Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that the moment Mr. President gets that very report, they will know that play play, no day for this one again. <laughs> All right, so um, this is um, an issue of death and alive. Now they can spoke out and reveal his own mind to Boris aid. Let's check the content. You'll be amazed. This is evening news. Late yesterday, President Mopari has sent a delegate to speak with the IPOP leader in detention, Nambe Kanu. This negotiation started at 5 p.m. in the evening, of which Namdekanu was left with this Boris aid for over two and a half hours. Namdekanu, who spoke, said that he is no longer interested in President Mo Boris' release. He said he is only interested in whatever decision the UN has to take on this case. He is demanding for UN involvement and intervention. He said he has overstayed his stay in detention. That Nigerian government has shunned the constitution and has not been able to meet up with the demands of the law. Namdekanu, who said that he is no longer interested, has called for the United Nations to speak up and make Nigeria understand that there is a decision which is supposed to be taken and a decision which is not supposed to be taken. The law has a decision and that decision has been shunned. So, he said that the United Nations must make open a fresh case on his trial. He said it's not, he doesn't mind staying in detention till that very case comes to an end and his victory will be fully justified on ease, he said. See, let me tell you, my dear listeners, the we kind of want a free and fair release. He doesn't want a sympathetic release. He doesn't want a situation whereby he will be released and they will still be calling or coming for his life. He wants to be free and be free once and for all. That unconditional release, the lawyer and other person are demanding for Nam Khan is not is not even is not even interested in that anymore. The kind of release the IPOP leader is calling for now is a justified release. A release that we even place the Nigerian government on condition, not him on condition. Because he has beaten and he has defeated every condition put before him by the federal government. Someone who has pleaded who has pleaded not guilty of all count charges. He pleaded not guilty of seven count charge, eleven count charge, fifteen count charge. What are you still looking for? What are you still looking for? I think the person um, um, complicating this whole thing is Justice Ben Taniako. Because if he has, he, he has, he has turned down President Mubarak's request and their conditions, 
I am not sure that he in America will still be in detention. Do you understand? I'm not sure. Because what the court was actually hitting on, um, for, right from the day this very trial started, was that an American should face justice. And the justice an American has faced and has defeated. So why are they still keeping him in detention if there is no hidden agenda that the federal government are actually having? Do you understand what I'm saying now? So, um, to this extent, I will tell you that I support Namikano's decision. The UN have to come in and make Nigerians to understand that they have violated the law, the decision of the law. Because the law has a decision. And Nigerian governments have gone beyond the decision of the, of, of the law. They have gone beyond the decision of the Constitution. Do you understand now? This is the only administration that I've seen that go against the decision of the Constitution. Buhari's administration turned the Nigerian Constitution upside down. In Nigeria now, I tell you that we no longer have a law. We no longer have a law. Nigeria has been seen as a country that has a law, but be like a country with no law. Yes, of course. You don't know. Because there are so many things that we're supposed to be doing in the Constitution that we no longer follow. Nigeria is no longer a constitutional country. We no longer follow the Constitution. So what are we saying? So my dear listeners, this thing is eating the eyeball leader up. And that is why he is boiling and speaking up his mind fearlessly. So whosoever that understood him better should come up and speak up just as he has spoken. Do you understand now? This is just the reality. I'm happy that the UN have surfaced. I'm happy that the UN have shown their face. Do you understand now? Uh -huh. So let everybody now put their heads down and start you know, quoting what he, he, or he or she understood about the law. Do you understand? Yes. Very, very important. All right, my dear people in the house. In fact, this Namikano's trial is getting interesting and interesting and interesting by the day. He keep giving up new things, you know, keep bringing up new things, keep uh, popping up new things, and uh, making the uh, the trial to to gain more weight by the day. I can see that the IPOP leader is um, uh, is is almost close to his breakthrough. So. Um, I would like to invite you, my dear listeners, on this very matter to know what you equally think and what you feel that should happen on the case of Nnamdekano or what you think that Nnamdekano have said. Do you think is on the fair side or is on the wrong side? Whatever you think, please don't forget your comments are very much welcomed. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you. Catch you.